Up next, Chris Prudon shows us the creative process behind the many voices of Ed Thompson. The other day, as you were driving to work, when you saw that truck that belonged to garagefloorcoating.com, did you happen to catch that little tidbit of information on it? Well, if you missed it, that's okay. You were probably paying attention to the road. You have probably heard Ed's voice before, but how did he get to be in your radio? It all started when he was nine years old. I got a red radio for Christmas. It was Panasonic, shape of a ball, and it was AM only, and I listened to uh, uh, some really kick-butt radio stations, WLS out of Chicago, KSTT out of Davenport, and uh, KAAY out of Little Rock, Arkansas, of all places. You know, these were great radio stations back in the day that were playing some really amazing top 40 rock and roll, and uh, uh, they had fun morning shows, and uh, it was just a lot of fun, and I, I was listening to that, and I'm thinking to myself, I want to do that for a living, you know? Nine years old, I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. I don't know many nine-year-olds that... Uh, uh, really land on something like that, you know. I want to be a cowboy. No, not me. I wanted to be a DJ. Well, luckily for Ed, came his high school career day. I saw that on the list that they had a guy who worked at a radio station, and I, I'm there. And so I went to that presentation. He said where he went to school, and so the next thing I did was I made a phone call and uh, found out uh, how I get it, you know, how I could apply to get into school, and I went there, and from there small town radio station in Iowa, from there to other radio stations around the Midwest until I landed here in Omaha. And, and half of that was being on the air as a DJ. The other half uh, was as, you know, specializing in production, doing voiceovers and things like that. And that's, that's always what I was always best at anyway. Ed considers what he does a form of acting. Voice acting, that is. It's not just announcing a script. I mean, anybody can go up and, and, and make an announcement. Jiminy Christmas, all you have to do is have a, you know, have a, a bullhorn or a PA, a, a, a PA system, and you can make an announcement at church. That's not what I do. What I do is essentially voice acting. And so a lot of what I do... Uh, depends upon the script. He occasionally gets some weird scripts, and that is where his commercial production creativity really comes alive. Sometimes, you know, you can do something a little different. I did one for Dracula, and everybody always does the same, Dracula, you know, blah, blah, which is, which is crap, because everybody does that. I did a, I did a script where I was playing uh, Dracula, where it was like, hey, Dracula, Prince of Darkness. You know, <laughs> and just and, and, and the reason that was successful was because it was so off the wall and so not normal that somebody responded to it. Plus, it didn't it didn't hurt that it had, uh, you know, an anti uh, Twilight joke in it, too. You know, the joke was, uh, you know, seriously, I've been a vampire for 4000 years. We don't sparkle, you know, seriously. And, and the client loved the ad because a it was timely with the Twilight mentions and B. And I think more importantly was that the, the character was so not Dracula that it made it successful and, and, and it caused people to listen. And, and sometimes that's, um, that's what's needed. Finally, Ed talks about one of his more famous local commercial voices. Two Fine Irishmen is another, is, is, another, is another character that I created. Probably one of the worst Irish accents you will ever hear performed in modern media ever. Wouldn't it be great to shake your moneymaker and never have to pay any money to shake it? Well, you can at Two Fine Irishmen. It clicked. It's something that we dropped out there for uh, a client that uh, with the bar is named Two Fine Irishmen. And, and um, this is kind of what we are. And, and it works. And, and, and every time a person hears that ad, they know it's for Two Fine Irishmen. And that's, that's the one that people always say. You do that ad? Yeah, that's me.